18 years ago, Sarah moved into this house with her husband, but Andrew isn't there anymore. He was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's nine years ago. He's in a home now. At the age of 52, he can't feed himself, he can't walk, he can't talk. And Sarah lives in their home, still married, but by herself. And she misses him. The hugs and the kisses. I still give him hugs and kisses, but he can't give them to be back again. Those, the sense of humour, the him automatically going and turn, changing the clocks when the clocks change, holding hands, having someone to share a meal with. At the moment, Alzheimer's drugs just manage symptoms, but researchers at this pharmaceutical firm think they've found a drug which actually slows its progress, which stops the disease killing brain cells. The drug is called solanezumab. It was part of a trial in 2012 which was thought to have been unsuccessful. But when scientists looked closer, they noticed there were signs it was working, specifically in people with the early stages of the disease. Three years on, those patients had deteriorated at a slower rate than those who hadn't taken the drug. There are half a million people in this country with Alzheimer's, and as we live longer, that number's going up. But because it's a disease typically of old age, if you can slow its arrival, you can cut the number of cases. One piece of research here in the UK said if we can delay Alzheimer's by five years, we can cut the cases by a third. Experts say this drug would mean the battle against the disease will have to move out of labs and into doctor's surgeries. The real challenge now, if this drug is telling us that we need to get, pe to get to people early, then the real challenge becomes improving diagnosis, improving detection, getting to people very, very early. And that is a challenge. At the moment, I think our diagnostic methods, they're not accurate enough. Sarah sees Andrew twice a week. Next time, she's looking forward to telling him about the new drug. Because when I go in I, I, and tell him a bit of good news like this, I'd be kind of, I think he picks up on the tone of my voice. So I think he'll pick up and probably make a nice sound and be like, yeah, something good. Don't I might not understand, so I totally understand what's going on, but there's obviously something good. The discovery is much too late to help Andrew. If the drug works, though, it could keep thousands of other families together for longer.